Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel again and today we have two very special guests. Uh, we're going to be talking about Regent Seven Seas Cruises and if you know nothing about Regent Seven Seas you're in for a great surprise. This is a great great cruise line. I'm Sherry Funk and my husband Charlie that you see in uh, one of the screens over there is my husband but he's also my business partner and we own Just Cruise and Plus. We're located in Brentwood, Tennessee. So I'm going to turn this over to Charlie and let him introduce our special guests. As Sherry mentioned, we have two very special guests today. Jody Murphy is the business development manager for our territory, has been an invaluable source of aid and assistance to us as we've gone through a really tough time with the pandemic. And the other guest is Lisa Shera. She and her husband, Dr. Cameron Shera, are good Regent Seven Seas clients. And we have served them, been privileged to help fulfill their dream fantasies and ideas for, oh, 10 years or so. And we look forward to even more opportunities in the near future. And I'm sure Lisa's gonna talk about that. But without further ado, Jody, take us away. Thank you so much, Charlie and Sherry, for having me today. And thank you, Lisa, for joining us. I'm so excited to be here and talk to you about Regent Seven Seas Cruises. So as we are now getting closer to returning to sailing, we are excited. And I know you guys are too. So I wanted to talk to you today about Region 7 Seas Cruises and our unrivaled space at sea. But first of all, there are many questions right now and many that cannot be answered at this time. But safety measures on board are critical and we understand that. We will meet all standards and we will strive to exceed them in everything that we do for our clients. We did submit a list of 74 health and safety protocol recommendations to the CDC. This was submitted by our Healthy Sale panel. And as we progress, we will keep everyone updated on everything that we implement. But this here is a slide of very high level things that we have put into place so far. Um, just an example for our guest, pre-embarkation health screening, socially, socially responsible check-in, so things will be done online, um, no touch food service, but we didn't have all of those buffets, we just had a venue that, that had that option, um, increased social distancing throughout, partners in prevention, where we're partnering with the local authorities to be sure that everything that we do on board also happens ashore, wherever we are in the world now, and we've got continuous shipwide disinfection, um, and we're upgrading our air filtration systems to medical grade air filtration systems. And from what I heard, they're amazing and reduce, you know, 99.9% .9 of, of anything, any bad pathogens or anything in the air. So, but we will continue and, and keep you updated of, of everything that is going on. And hopefully soon we will have more information for you on what, what is going on with Regent. So. I think that this image illustrates very well the capacity between our fleet and some of the others. And where would you guys rather be? I know right there where that little arrow is pointing, that is our Seven Seas Voyager. It is a 700 passenger ship with 350 suites. Her tonnage is only 42,363. And this is the second largest ship we have. have. The largest ship is only 50 more passengers, so 750 passengers, 375 suites, and a tonnage of 55,498. So, so that's the largest. And uh, we look tiny compared to all of these other ships, but we have perfectly sized ships. And think of the enjoyable embarkation process on and off the ship for shore excursions with us. Again, I mean, I know where I would rather be, and that's with Regent. Now, as we move forward in returning to cruising, space is definitely a key differentiator and Regent, we are perfectly positioned in this arena. So looking at this grid, look at our guest capacity between, this is Seven Seas Splendor, our brand new ship, at 750 guests versus 
a, another, we'll say premium cruise line, that's 3,046 3, people on board. And more importantly, take a look at the space per person. I mean, I mean, uh, it, it's just, there's, there's really no words for it. I mean, here the, w per 100 guests and the other cruise line, you see how many people in the space that we have for social distancing, it, it's, it's there and it shows and, and that's very important. So I just wanted to show you our fleet. We've got five beautiful award-winning ships that cater from 490 to 750 guests. We are small, intimate, there's no lines, comfortable. We have had a full refurbishment on all of our ships and the brand new Seven Seas Splendor was christened in February of 2020. She had a, a, a her inaugural voyage, came to Miami and then all of this happened. So really no one has gotten to sail on her yet. So she's waiting for you. And she is luxury perfected. Um, she's got a crew to guest ratio of one to 1.5. So also we visit over 450 ports worldwide, every region of the world. And we can visit those places that those large ships aren't able to visit. So we invite you to come on board and experience your new home away from home with Regent. Now, what makes Regent stand apart from all of the rest? Besides the space, of course, we have five pillars that we stand by that we believe are, are what sets us apart with our exquisite cuisine, our luxurious suites, impeccable service, immersive exploration, and every luxury is included. Now, into our dining. Our dining is open seating. There are many specialty restaurants, spatial, spaciously distanced tables for two or more. We have up to seven dining venues, including casual indoor and outdoor dining options at La Veranda, the pool grill, and also in-suite dining that retains that restaurant experience where you can get served course by course in the evening for dinner and, and be able to access that menu from the main dining room, that main dinner menu, not just a a room service menu. So our Compass Rose is our main dining room and we call, we say this is our most favorite specialty restaurant at CU and she's not even a specialty restaurant uh, because in Compass Rose you can order items from the main or from all of the specialty venues. It changes every night but you have that option. So you could eat in Compass Rose every night of the week and have something different. Again, we're open seating, which means no required dining at set times at large tables with people that you do not even know. And then I just wanted to slip in some food pictures here, get you ready for dinner, maybe some chicken parmesan and some chocolate cake. Now, as far as outdoor dining, we do have an option at La Veranda all day, indoor, outdoor seating. And in the evening, she turns into this beautiful, delicious uh, Italian Sete Mari. And now, actually, within the last year or two, we had an expansion of the pool grill for dinner. So casual dining where you don't have to change into slacks and a, and a collared shirt for dinner. You can go into your shorts and t-shirt and have a casual uh, experience at the pool grill, weather permitting. Um, so there are many options for dining that allow for social distancing and of course taking in that beautiful ocean air. And then our specialty dining venues, there are many to choose from. Here is our Pacific Rim, which is a Pan-Asian restaurant. They are all works of art in themselves and just wonderful cuisine and many options. And all we ask is a reservation. We do not charge for any of the specialty dining on board. We also have our Steakhouse Prime 7, where you have your surf and turf and your steaks made to order the way that you want. We have a modern French restaurant called Chartreuse, where maybe they would serve you a French onion soup upside down in the bowl. So now our world's most luxurious fleet, uh, we definitely offer spacious, luxurious suites 
in personal balconies, 98% are private balconies with us. So only one of our ships offers window staterooms, and that is the Seven Seas Navigator. So, but everything else is all suite, all balcony. You have a dedicated attendant, butler at penthouse level and above, private in-suite minibar that is absolutely included. So you wake up in the middle of the night, you can grab a bottle of water and don't have to worry about paying for it. They restock your minibar daily. We've got spacious marble and stone detailed bathrooms, separate sitting areas, and generous walk-in closets in all of our suites. So here is an example. This is a Splendor suite on Seven Seas Splendor. And it's truly an example of a home away from home. Not even our largest suite here, not, not even the largest, but it's got a living room, walk-in closet, mini bar, movies on demand, everything that you would need to have a comfortable stay with us. No inside suites, all balconies, except for the Navigator, like I mentioned. And larger suites that are larger than this feature dining tables. Some of them have two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And it's really an easy way to travel with friends or family and to not feel crowded. This is an example of, actually it's a, a penthouse suite on Seven Seas Mariner. And, and this suite is, is huge. It's an excellent example of space and comfort and actually has a full wrap around sofa in it. Also our penthouse suites as Seven Seas Explorer and Splendor, we've changed the look of um, some of these suites and you can see how beautiful they are. And then here, a lead-in suite on our ships, minimum cabin size of 301 square feet, including a 50 square foot balcony. So again, spacious, even the lead-in suite. And we have these amazing elite slumber beds that a lot of people request and want to buy in their homes after they have sailed with us. So it's just a, a, oh, it's a, it's a comfortable, wonderful place to be. Now, of course, we have some of the largest balconies at sea, especially on the Splendor and Explorer. You could have, um, I would say you could probably have a party of 12 on some of these balconies, and, and that's in standard suites with us, so, so much space. Now, as far as personalized service, we have the best personalized and professional service on board, and I know that Lisa will be able to talk to you about our staff, but once you sell with us, you're quickly going to discover that the kindness and the professionalism of our staff and crew extend well beyond their smiles and the chilled glass of champagne that you get once you walk on board. It's, it, it's unparalleled. They are amazing, and it is every single one of them. They go above and beyond to make sure that every detail is taken care of for you. Now also, as we were talking about our suites and the size of them, in-suite dining, as course by course, there are so many ways to personalize your experience, your cruise. They have plenty of room to do that. It's, it's luxury and it's a personal preference and it's whatever way you want it to be. Now also, again, some suites have these dedicated butlers. They're in penthouse suites and above. Personalized service. The butler is dedicated to the guests in his suites. They will help with anything and any arrangements you need while on board, and of course, with a smile. And then your dedicated room stewards. This means that there are not endless different people or endless different people entering your cabin. It is the same room attendant throughout the entire voyage. They greet you upon arrival, they learn your preferences, and then that provides you with a sense of security. They know you and you know them. You often leave Regent uh, with new family members and you go again searching for those people because you loved them so much. Now another pillar is immersive exploration. And with us we offer a destination experience in, experiences in more private settings to allow you to have your unique vacation experience in a safe environment. So from music, history, and the culinary arts of uh, wildlife, unique local adventures. There are amazing memories to be created in every destination, whatever your interest. And so I'll go over these with you to, in a little bit more detail. 
But we offer free unlimited shore excursions, and there's over 2,000 free unlimited shore excursions on our voyages. An incredible array of opportunities for you to see the world in every port of call. And these aren't just city tours and walking tours and bus tours that are included. They are some really wonderful in-depth tours. And don't forget, we actually now have the Smart Guide app technology. So this will allow you to connect to the tour guide who is speaking using their own smartphone and their own headphones. You're not gonna have to worry about being right up in front to hear what is going on on the tour with the Smart Guide technology. And it, right now it's not offered on every sailing but or every shore excursion, but we will continue to upgrade it and offer that as we are cruising again. Now, Regent Choice shore excursions, Regent Choice shore excursions do come at a cost, but let me mention that these tours, if, if you have a shipboard credit on board, for example, you can pre-book and pay for your Regent Choice shore excursions with that shipboard credit. And these amazing experiences, so this here is at Catherine's Palace. It's just open for our guests, none of the crowds. You would be by yourself with your Regent group. So we offer these small group tours. We have a maximum of 16 guests in our small group tours, and many actually repeat with different departure times. So you have that ability to, to take these tours. We also offer different types of other tours to enrich your time in the destinations. We offer go local tours. So say that you have been to Rome many times over. It's in select ports, but go local tours give you the opportunity to see the ports through the eyes of the local and do things that you would never experience before. We have gourmet explorer tours. So on the Seven Seas Explorer and Seven Seas Splendor, we have a culinary arts kitchen. With the culinary arts kitchen classes, you are able to add on these gourmet explorer tours where they are chef led. You go into the city with the chef and pick up all of the ingredients that you need to cook in your cooking class later on in that cruise. And they are absolutely amazing. We have for wellness tours, and we also offer land programs and, and overland programs on select voyages as well. Now you're also able to build unique shore excursion experiences with our concierge on board, or even through our executive collection with a private car and driver for that private experience, if, if that is what you're looking for. And it's a, a unique opportunity that maybe more people would feel comfortable doing and not being around other people. Now, if you have a group of 10 people or more, something new that we've just recently started offering is called Reconnect on Regent. And it's a more private way to explore the world with your family and friends. So this group program gives you the ability to have private shore excursions with your specific group, tailored to your group, and you receive a notification in suite when the tour is ready, so you don't have to go into the theater and wait uh, with everyone else. And you also receive complimentary cocktail party for your group. So again, groups of 10 or more. What an amazing way to, to not have to worry and be by yourself with your family and friends. Now I feel that the last pillar and one of the most important and people just don't truly understand is that every luxury is included with us. So we offer free business class air on intercontinental flights. That are, that's included. Free economy air on domestic flights, the, the free unlimited shore excursions, as I mentioned. Uh, we offer a one night pre-cruise hotel package and concierge suites and hire. Free unlimited beverages that in, includes fine wines and premium spirits that you're it's, it's not up to a dollar amount where you have to pay additional once you, you, know, you, you look for a specific drink. You have the free open bars and lounges, the in-suite mini bar replenished daily, but this also includes bottled water, soda, juice, specialty coffees, all of those things that you have on a normal day-to-day -day basis that on other cruise lines, you might have to spend $12 for a glass of orange juice for, at breakfast, but that's, it's, it's included. You don't have to worry, you don't have to think. Also, gratuities are included. Yes, they are actually included. Specialty restaurants, as we talked about before. Transfers are included with our air package. Free unlimited Wi-Fi. There are no packages. It is just included. And new is a free valet laundry service throughout the entire voyage. 
Jody, there's a question about the laundry service. Uh, is there a limit on the laundry service? Not that we have been advised. So I, you know, I'm I, sure that as you want to do laundry at the end of the cruise, you're wanting to get it cleaned or throughout the cruise, we will happily take that. All righty. Now the region value, and this is huge. And I know that, that Sherry and Charlie can talk to this because there are so many people that actually don't understand the value of Regent Seven Seas Cruises. And sometimes you see our price and it can be a little scary, the, the dollar amount. It, it, we do start higher, but we start higher and we stay there because all of this is included. So in this example, we're talking about a, a Northern Europe voyage. And when we do our comparisons, we try to get as close as possible to these other two uh, cruise lines that we're comparing. So here on the left, we have the Seven Seas Voyager. It's uh, 700 people capacity. The other luxury line, 794 guests. And then on the right, which our pictures might be in the way of this, but it's a premium cruise line and it's 2,492 guests. So the number of nights for the cruise are very similar and the suite size is, is very similar. But the fare for region in this example starts at 14,499 per person. But then adding up everything, you don't have to add up anything. You can sail and it would still be at the end of your cruise, 14,499 per person. So that's 1,036 per day. The premium cruise line, which they start at 4,419 per person, which for some people, you know, well, everyone probably, but that is way, way less expensive. And maybe you tell them, okay, so please, you know, book us on the premium cruise line with 2,492 guests, by the way, but you want to add business class air. Well, that's going to cost you about $5,900. The transfers, shore excursions, because you're not going on a cruise and not doing shore excursions, Wi-Fi, gratuities, the drinks, the dining, the government taxes and fees. So by the time you get off of the cruise, it's $13,502 per person. So your per day spend is $1,039. That's $4 more. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, $4 more per day than a luxury ship with less passengers. So we're, we're, what would you want to do? Pay it up front and not worry about a thing at all or sail with almost 2,500 people and pay the same price as the luxury cruise line. So that's what we're looking at now and trying to convey and, and help people understand because you can sail on a luxury cruise line. And maybe Charlie or Sherry, you could even talk to this. This is a Caribbean comparison. Now, of course, I mean, we come out more and, and we don't always come out less. We don't always come out about the same. Sometimes we're more, but it's, it's all in what you want for your vacation. All right, so, and then as I had mentioned, we cover the globe, 450 ports worldwide. We have sailings that range from seven nights on up to 143 nights. Our 2023 World Cruise opened in October, and this 143 night voyage almost sold out in one day. That says so much that you are ready to travel, you are ready to go. We launched our new itineraries, our new voyage launch that was from April of 2022 to May of 2023. That was also in October. We had our best booking day in our company's 28 year history that week. Again, it says so much, you're ready to travel and, and get out of there, out, out of here, out of your house, I'm ready. So there's a lot of pent up demand and there's many opportunities as world cruises or, or you know, go everywhere or even grand voyages if you don't want to go on a whole 143 night cruise but if you do that's awesome and if you can but I wouldn't I would recommend not waiting because 
those cruises in 2022 and 2023 that are open now, they're, some of them are already selling out to the point of wait list because, you know, people are unsure still of 2021, but 2022 and 2023, things have got to be better, right? We've, we've got to be as almost back to normal as we could be. So if you're thinking about an itinerary in 2022 or 2023, I would recommend not waiting at all because it, it can be your opportunity or you, you could miss out. And right now we do have, and I wanted to point out, we do have a promotion that's a two category upgrade on all sailings out there and that it ends on February 28th and it gives you a 50% off deposit. So our penalties, uh, it's a $100 per person admin fee for a very long time if you would book a 2022 or 2023 voyage. So, and that admin fee turns into a future cruise credit where you can get that back and use it on a different voyage. So again, if you're looking at anything in 2022, 2023, now it would be the time to reach out to your so top advisor. Um, the, this is likely to be viewed well after mm -hmm. the 21st, uh, 28th of February because it's on YouTube and we expect some shelf life on it. But the thing that I will, will add in, we'll give you contact information at the end of the presentation about how to get in touch with Just Cruising Plus. But uh, there are frequently offers mm -hmm. and that sort of thing that, that would equal or might be the same as what we've seen here and give us a, a, a good basis for building a, a vacation for you. And Lisa, this is a good point to lead in. I, I'll, I'll lay some groundwork. It's been some 10 years ago, whenever it was, and Lisa and her husband, Dr. Cameron, it came in and I chatted with them about an ocean going cruise and the uh, problem, the, the fact that they wanted to take their, I think it was then he was eight years old son with them. And the first thing that might come to mind is that eight year old uh, young cruisers may not have anything to do or may not be interested in taking an ocean going cruise, especially on a luxury line that doesn't have a kitty park or a slide or something like that. I'll, I'll say to you that indeed, just as there are 31 different flavors of ice cream at Baskin Robbins, we have varying levels of sophistication and that sort of thing, regardless of age. And it turned out it, the the best fit for the Shower family was on Regent Seven Seas. And with that, I'll let Lisa share with us some of the reasons why they think, why she thinks that Regent was better, the best option for her family and what their experience was given the number of times they have sailed with Regent and considering that they have their next cruise already booked uh, coming up in uh, 21, late 21. Lisa, go ahead. Well, thanks, Charlie. Uh, we love Regent. Uh, it has been a great cruise line for our family. Uh, my husband uh, loves uh, how much we get pampered when we're on the ship. Um, I enjoy every minute of it. The crew is unbelievable. Um, we have, uh, my son, uh, which started cruising at eight, uh, we went into Charlie and mainly with that in mind that we wanted to find a line that wouldn't be the big ships that would have some type of kid club, uh, that we could have, you know, a couple of private dinners, adult dinners, uh, that my son could go in the kid club. It's nice because they divide it into ages. So he's not with the little kids or the bigger kids. He was with his own age group. And there aren't a lot of kids, but there's enough that he's got somebody to do something with. They have game night, pizza night, chef night. Um, and he, every morning, we would get a flyer on our door of what was going on that night. And he could pick and choose what he would like to do. So he knew from that morning on uh, what his plans were going to be for the night, which was good for him. Um, he loved having a butler. He loves being <laughs> there. There to me, um, 
there are so many things to talk about for Regent because um, I haven't been on all the ships, uh, but I'm getting ready to go on my third one and they've all been exquisite. And my son, uh, of course, we've gone intercontinental. So he has, um, loves first class air um, to the point that we've, we've done this with our cruises. And when we've gone other places, he, he's gotten on a plane in economy and said, are we not first class? So um, he's been really spoiled with Regent. And um, I just, I couldn't say enough good things about it, which is why we keep coming back. And, and I think Lisa touched on a point here that's really important. Regent Seven Seas isn't for everybody. And it, that, that probably is one of the things that may make it an appealing option and choice for discriminating travelers. The food and cuisine are exquisite. The, 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 and this, this is perhaps a, a, a bit tasteless on my part, but maybe you don't want to be on a ship with 3,000 or 4,000 of your newest best friends who are sitting in a dining room with a couple of thousand of you being served something that came from a commissary. And, and I, I know that's harsh, but the reality is that there, there are lots of people who have grown beyond that in, in their enjoyment of food and fine cuisine and in, in pampered treatment. I have always maintained that if your vacation is not better than what you would be doing at home, why are you going? And, and the reality is that the experience on region is a step above and one that I think you would you would find if you're new to, to region if, if you have sailed with premium products and deluxe cruise lines and are ready for the next, next step up region is a logical choice for you and as Jody showed us and I've, I've done that same analysis I don't know how many times but the the, the Upfront expense is sometimes sticker shock for, for a, a prospect. But the thing that we have successfully done is to show that the, the end of cruise, end of vacation expense is often less for a, a better experience and in a bigger, a bigger room. The, the one that Jody showed, indeed, the, the seven C, I'm sorry, yeah, the Regent suite was 40% larger than, than the premium product and, and it was less expensive. There are so many compelling reasons to sail with Regent if it's the kind of thing that you want that it, it, it's not a hard choice to make. Let your travel professionals at Just Cruise and Plus help you make that choice and help you make that decision. Our, our agents are taught how to learn about you, learn about the things that you like, you know, things you don't like, and to make sure that we don't put you in a vacation situation that's going to be unhappy for you. They're gonna spend 20 or 30 minutes asking you questions about things that seem like they have absolutely nothing about, nothing to do with taking a cruise and they have everything to do with it because we want to learn about you and, and how to fit you. And, and as I say, this is, this is not a product for everybody, but just as there are Fords and there are Mercedes, the Mercedes is a good choice for some people. The Ford is, better, is a good choice for others. And if, you're, if your tastes and your, your likes and dislikes run more to the line of things that treat you individually and pamper you, then Regent Seven Seas is the choice you, you need to make. You can reach us at 615-833-0922. That's 615-833-0922. Or look, up, look, up, look us up on the website, on the internet. We are at, at jcp.travel. That's not .com. We tried to get jcp.com, but the folks at JCPenney's were a bunch of fuss budgets and wouldn't let us have it. So we're at jcp.travel. We have 
counselors, trip advi travel advisors that are ready to help you and do a great job for helping you find an experience that the sharers have come to enjoy over the years. Jody, thank you so much for your presentation today. There's so many other things to learn and know about Regent 7 Cs that I wish we had had time to go into today without making it so long that people would have fallen asleep or given up on us. But again, thank you so much. And I'll, Sherry, what, what do you have on closing? I just have a question for Miss Lisa. I want you to tell me one thing that you absolutely love the most about Regent. Well, I was thinking when I was listening to Charlie, one thing I think which really is important to us is with it, having the excursions included, it really pushes you to get out there and see everything. You know, I think if you're paying separately for each excursion, you're going to be very careful about what you choose and maybe, you know, try not to overload yourself. I, I am usually uh, pretty worn out when I get back, but when I think of how many places that we have seen, um, we went to Alaska, we got to go on a helicopter ride up to the, uh, the dog sleds and to experience that with my husband and my son, um, we have made so many memories for him and he's going to go to college in a couple of years. And just like this one that we recently booked, we're, we want to experience all these with him and Regent has shown us how we can do it. I don't know how to tell you this, Lisa, but even after he goes to college and gets out, he's still going to want to do that. <laughs> Experience, we can tell you. <laughs> well, and we, that, hope, we hope he will. And now we have grandchildren that want us to take them. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, Ladies, we have really appreciated you being here today. Uh, Jody, thank you so much for taking time and putting together a presentation to explain about Regent Seven Seas. It's not a cruise line when most people uh, think about cruising. Regent's not up there with some of the others that are all over the TV with advertising and all of the things that they do. Uh, no, there's not water slides. No, there's not miniature golf courses, but there's still plenty of other things. And like Lisa said, I think the thing that's so critical, the shore excursions to me, and I agree with you, Lisa, and in today's world, especially, we are hearing that the CDC is going to require, uh, I don't know that, that this will happen in Europe, but that um, you will have to take an excursion from the ship. You will not be allowed to go out on your own and do that because of the health protocols. And when you have all of these excursions included, then you don't have to worry about that. You know that you're gonna be able to, to have the excursion. I also like the fact that if you are in port for a full day up until evening, you can do one excursion in the morning and another one in the afternoon, depending on where you are. So, and how active you wanna be. So it, it, there's, there's huge pluses. Plus, like you said earlier, Lisa, to us, uh, having the wine selections and not having to worry about you just go up and order what you want uh, that's huge i think charlie would be right there with cameron and would just be in heaven <laughs> i, I want to add one thing about shore excursions that is important to sherry and me we we have had gotten to the point on premium lines that whether they gave us excursions or not, we were buying private shore excursions. Because frankly, being on a bus with 50 of my newest best friends that are all talking over each other and talking to someone, their friend that's sitting behind us when we can't hear the tour guide and that sort of thing, made it a totally unpleasant experience. And the thing that uh, Jody mentioned, I think it was one of the excursions she mentioned, it was limited to 16 people. And that that's, not all of them are only 16, but we're looking at 16 to 25 and, and people in, in that general range for, for shore excursions. And, and the difference is it's gonna be with people that are not accustomed to yelling and hollering at one another so that you can enjoy things better. And, and I, 
I don't regret saying that because it, 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 you're going to be traveling with people that you would invite to your home for dinner. And, and that's an important distinction to make. Like-minded people. And one thing that I wanted to add too is that sometimes when people think of a luxury cruise line, they think that it's stuffy and snooty and, and dressy and formal. And we're not like that at all. There are no formal nights. We don't require ties and jackets. Just a simple button, button a collared shirt for men, slacks at dinner. And that's after 6 p.m. And then now with the new casual dining option at the pool grill, I mean, you don't, you, you really, if you don't want to dress up and shower and go to dinner, you don't, you don't have to, but you don't want to eat in your room. So it's not stuffy at all. No, not at all. Well, ladies, thanks again for being here. Uh, everybody, we appreciate you tuning into our YouTube channel and watching all of these wonderful videos that we've been doing. Um, we'll continue doing more of them. And thanks again. We appreciate it, gals. Talk Thank to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.